Hey guys, it's Chris again with CNM Aquatics. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we talk about pretty much anything that's you know related to the reef aquarium hobby. And today I was going to touch a little bit on Aptasia anemones and what I use to try to control them. So it's important to have your you know quarantine process and make sure you inspect your corals and fish before you put them into your main system, but it's kind of inevitable at some point in time if you're in this hobby for you know any length of time you're probably going to run into some aptasia in your systems they sneak in on you know corals frag plugs live rock they're sneaky they're, they they sneak in however they can so what they are you know they're they're basically they're a little anemone and they're a pest anemone they're ugly They'll, they will sting your corals the biggest threat with Aptasia is their ability to reproduce in the home aquarium. They are very, very rapid growers and they reproduce like crazy. And how they can do that is they can release cells. So if they release a single cell, you know, into the aquarium water, it can attach somewhere else in the aquarium and grow a new anemone. So that's why it's important when you try to kill them that you do kill them and don't just damage them and tick them off or else it may make your issue even worse than what it is. So what we're going to talk about here is Aptasia X. I've been using the Red Sea variety for a long time now and I've had pretty good luck with it. So what Aptasia X is, it's sodium hydroxide which can burn your skin and your eyes if you get it on there so it's probably a good idea to you know wear gloves and take your precautions but what you get here you can find this pretty much at any local fish store it's online it's been around for a long time so what comes in the kit is this so you get your instructional booklet and this is the solution and I've had this bottle for several years and I haven't used a whole lot of it. It lasts a really long time. You get a syringe and a couple applicators here. So your syringe and it comes with a straight tip catheter and then you got one with a little angle on the end of it and what you're trying to do here is apply the product to the oral disc of the aptasia anemone you're supposed to coat it and this has um a little bit some adhesive properties so it doesn't just float away in the water it, it kind of tries to stick to it so you, you try to get it on the oral disc of the anemone and then they will ingest some of that and it will effectively kill them but when you do that, they, they like to retract. So this says it doesn't cause retraction, but if you bump them or something, you can cause them to retract back into you know a rock or a crevice, and they can be hard to get to after that. You gotta wait for them to come out again. So it's pretty simple to use. You just draw up the solution, and what you're gonna do is just squirt it on the oral disc of the anemone and try to coat them in it and i have had very good luck i don't know this is really the only brand red sea that i've used i don't know the differences between different brands but at least with this one it, it has been a very effective way as long as you get get the aptasia x on the oral disc of the anemone they shrivel up and they disappear out of the aquarium so i've had very good luck with that so if you guys want in the comments you know let me know what you guys have done with aptasia there are other methods, you know, using like a hypodermic needle, um, injecting them with baking soda, basically. I've heard of people using lemon juice. Um, I've never played with that, but whatever. If you guys have used any other methods, you know, there's natural ways, you know, like peppermint shrimp will eat these things. That is if you get a peppermint shrimp that likes to eat them. They don't always do it. Um, but let me know. Let me know what you guys have been successful with. I'm always looking to try new things. So with that, we'll go we'll go shoot some anemones here 
and see what we get.